and welcome to a pickup video here on the Video Game Arcade. Just back on Sunday from the Video Game Market in Doncaster. It was a good show. Uh, got a few games. So, starts off uh, PS1 and the Rose 2002. Cost me all of a pound. As you can see, it's complete. Manual little booklet discs fantastic so yeah that's the third anime manual on the PS1 it was originally advertised in OPM as co-masters manager football manager I think it was back when I was in school uh, I bought this another PS1 game then got home and realised oh dear I duplicated it so this is going spare Action Golf 2, as you can see, £1. I thought I'd actually go for Action Golf 1. So, so far, I spent £2. Again, this is complete. Case had seen better days, as you can see, it's got a bit of crack. Didn't realise at the time, but for £1, can't complain. Well, I can. I've duplicated it. Uh, now, this game I did have on the Xbox, but it's Actually vanished. It is PS2 game, Red Dead Revolver. This cost me, it says £4, but I bought this with another game in a minute I'll show you. And this and the next game cost £10 in all. Unfortunately missing the manual and I'm guessing the map, but I can probably find them on eBay. So yeah, I'm glad to have that back in my collection. So yeah, with Red Dead Revolver, on the same store, I bought this, the uh, Prince of Persia trilogy. So it's all three PS2 games, all complete. So you've got Sons of Time, Two Phones, and The Warrior Within. And you get each manual, so all three manuals, all good. And yeah, so this, along with Red Dead Revolver, should have cost me 11 but I got for 10 so so far 12 pounds spent not too bad i think and this has got to be the bargain of the day i think it's not a game but it's a um, a game guide which i've got a few collections of now um it's this official guide for skyrim now this is a thick book i mean look it's for skyrim it's huge it comes with a map. I mean, it's not the look map complete. Um, Try and guess how much it cost. Nope, it cost me a pound. A pound. And on the back it says retail price back in the day, nineteen ninety nine. Wow, that is a steal. So that is that is thirteen pounds spent. Next, a bit more expensive for some reason. It's another guide, this time for Fallout New Vegas. This was a fiver. Again, compared to its price back in the day, uh, 15 quid, it's not too bad. Again, it comes with a map, which still seems to be attached in the back of the book. It's perforated, but it's not come off. But... So yeah, <coughs> so that's two guides. Uh, and this for the DS. I saw it and I've got it for the PSP, but the PSP is broken at the minute, so I thought I'd get myself this. It's Star Trek Tactical Assault. Uh, £3. It is complete. It's a good little game. Played it on my PSP a fair bit until it's broke, but yeah. It's a complete manual box. Nice and tidy. And then lastly, oh, it's a bit shy. Lastly, one of my long time wants has been it's a Game Boy Advance game. It's also a PC game. It is Max Payne. Now this was the only copy I saw there. I went around about twice. I saw it on the stool, came back to it, and it was still there, thankfully. Because I've done that in previous years, and I've felt a bit. Bit bad so yeah 
It says 22. I got the guy down to 20. And the box is a bit squished because, okay, yeah, they're cardboard, aren't they? But, so, it's a bit squished. But still, it's boxed. It is, as you can see, complete inlay game manual. So yeah, that's my little haul from the 2020, well, the first one, the first uh, video game market at the Dome in Doncaster. So, so let me know what you think. Let's see what everyone else got. So yeah, all in all, I spent just £40. So, I'm quite happy. I was really looking for F1 Championship Edition as well, but I couldn't see that for love and money. I was after the Zombies for the Mega Drive. I saw a few copies, but I thought I could probably find it better because most of our manuals. So yeah, that's still on my to-get list next year. So thank you all for watching, and see you all again very soon. Goodbye. Thank you.